All right, so we yesterday, so I, I, my trip to the welding supply store was a dud for me. So I have three uh, 180, uh, two 180s uh, that are wired to 210, 220, 220. And then I have a huge beast over there too. So I have three Lincoln machines. Uh, that welding torch has never been replaced or damaged and gets used very minimal. These two get tortured and abused every day. So when I went to that uh, welding supply store to get a new whip, a uh, new torch for this, he said they don't make the original style anymore. You have to buy something else and then all your consumables will not fit that. Well, that sucks. Uh, and nor do they have either the off-brand in stock or the, the OEM that fit the machine at $200 plus consumables. I was like, yeah, fuck that. I'm not doing that. So then I went to Amazon, um, and I'll show you what we purchased, and I just did this on a whim. Um, so this was the OKBA OK MIG gun, 100 amp, 10 foot, blah, 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 blah. It fit perfectly to my uh, 180 Lincoln machine. And what I like about it is it has this little pivot ball. Check it out. You see that? So I like that. Uh, what I don't like is the angle here, so I'm going to custom bend that a little bit more. But it fit perfectly, and uh, we're working on the Mini Cooper here, flex pipe. And you can see it's laying very decent beads. Our other torch was so beat inside <laughs> that the uh, the liner was destroyed, and also the uh, the uh, inner tube that's uh, coiled metal that was destroyed. And man. It is so nice to have a brand new MIG torch when you're MIG welding. Our other one was so beat, and it still laid down some decent welds, but this is, this is flowing nice. Um, so, uh, and actually the tips on these are screw-on, which fits my old hardware, which I love. The other ones from the welding supply store that they wanted to sell you were slide-on type. I can't stand them. And at least with the screw-on ones, it's not going to destroy the inners as much as it would with the slide-ons. So anybody who's out there is welding, right? This is thread it, thread it here, okay? And then, then your tip, and then the MIG wire, and then diffuser. Inside the diffuser is a thread it style. The other one was a clip with a, a stainless steel clip to ha uh, on there. The problem with that in our environment is we're welding upside down and inside out and all over the place. So this is getting material and slag down inside here and it gets caught inside of here. But over the years, we, we can get this apart. And if we can't, it's very seldom that that would happen. My concerns with the newer style one is that all the slag that gets down inside there would destroy the uh, these pieces more that have that little retaining clip on there. So they slide on and off. Uh, yeah, I just wasn't a big fan of that. This is a little bulky in the handle, but uh, we're gonna test drive this bitch and we're gonna kick the shit out of it. And I'll, I'll let you know how long it lasts. That's for sure.